Good morning, what's up? How's it going? It's been a while. I'm back and I'm happy about it. So, I just got a notification on my phone. I better go check my mailbox. Something arrived. I don't know what the f it is, but let's go. Let's go. What's up, Kira? Winter is over. Wow, beautiful day. I mean, not like a sunny beautiful day, but it's it's a beautiful day because winter is over and that's what it looks like. So, before I get the mail, I just want to let you know that it's always like below 10, below 15. The snow is out there, you know, now you can see the grass. The snow is melting. I'm very excited. And I think something pretty important got in the mailbox, so I have to go check it out and I'll take you with me. All right. Which one are we taking? Let's go with the 1995. All right. Oh, shit. This guy's older than, than my brother. All right. Shit. God damn it. Damn, that's a nice place to put the package. Okay. Let's put it in here. Kira, let's go. Right, let's go. Right, we got it. What is this? Smell it. Scaredy cat. Alrighty, so we got the package. I don't know what's inside. But apparently it's something very important because we've been waiting for a few things. I'm not gonna reveal it right away. So let's go, let's go see mommy. Darmo, what's up? Come on, Kira. Flip flops. Hey. What's up? Christmas present. Me? You know what it is? No, but I, I hope it's what it is. You hope it's what it is? Yeah. Damn, they put it in uh, some rough packaging here. It always feels like Christmas with you. You always receive oh. packages. Why don't I receive packages like that? Because you're not that cool. Like I do. Yeah. A package and a package and a package. What is in? You really want to know? Uh, yeah, I've been walking around the whole property to get this. Well, I took the quad, but... So, Dharma, are you going to reveal what we got in the mail? Yeah? Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, it's a bathing suit. Yeah, not any bathing suit, it's my bathing suit. <laughs> it's Damia swimwear. So this is the prototype and we finally got it. It's been a while. We've been working a very long time to get this and to design it and to prepare it and everything. So thanks Mimi for making such an amazing design. Kira here. Do you want to give us a bit of a sneak peek at the features and materials? First of all, it's neoprene. Yeah. And it feels good to be against. Well, I mean, and neoprene is, is what they use for dry suits, right? Yes, exactly. So it's not completely waterproof, but it takes less water, so it's even better. 
So when you go in the water, it dries really, really, really fast. The funny part is that it sticks to your body. Stay there. Whatever you do, you move. You're like, whoa, what am I doing? Stay there. Doesn't move at all. That's why I choose new breed. Yeah, so you know, I'm not much of a, an expert in bikinis, but I figured out that neoprene is uh, an amazing material. I used to do scuba diving, and you know, they use neoprene for the wetsuits. And I said, hey, Mimi, you got a great idea. Neoprene is fantastic. And I just want to say that the bikinis that Mimi designed are very fashionable. <laughs> look, I, I, yeah, I did design them. Look so. at the cut, look at the corset. And take it out. You can leave it. Like, you can super stretch loose. it out, make it looser, and or then you can look like big boobs. <laughs> exactly, you can have big tits. So, I mean, that's not the point. The point is, it's a comfortable and durable bathing suit. Fashionable and yes, of course, durable. Yeah. Those bathing suit, you're gonna buy them, and it's gonna last forever, till you cut them, or I don't know. What I understand from a lot of people that I met, especially girls that buy bathing suits they're all complaining about how they, they get destroyed they can uh, rot or even they don't last a long time or they just don't like fit or anything else they don't stay well they don't stick to their skin or whatever yeah do you want to show me the back you want to show the audience about what the back looks like back so it's, a, it's an open back concept so first of all you can tan your back very well mm -hmm. then you have a variety of different sizes you can incorporate also. into the bathing suit so you have let me see here you have one two three and four right yeah, yeah four, four holes so you yeah. can put them in it I have the very very large uh, shoulder strap so it's very durable it doesn't come off and it's like sporty so when I saw them we said hey you know this is not just a bathing suit this could actually be a sports bra as well or just a bra what do you think yeah yeah so that's it I wanted to give you a sneak peek um, this is a, I'm a guy reviewing underwear for ladies and bathing suits, isn't that crazy? Bikinis, whatever. I just wanted to tell you because I'm very excited about this project, we've been working on it, it took a lot of our time. And that's partially why we were off YouTube. All right, what's up? I'm back. This is my little office here. So we gotta talk, we gotta talk. It's been a while. Um, we've been working on Damia Swimwear, the brand that we're developing together. Mimi is designing all these amazing bathing suits and I'm more into the uh, business side. So you see, that's partially why we were absent on YouTube. But the fact remains that we wanna keep the vlogs and the videos running. So. I just wanted to give you an update on what we're planning to do in a couple of months, in a couple of weeks that are coming. We're not gonna do daily vlogs, but we might do a couple a week and keep the ball going. For now, we wanna develop ourselves as much as possible and the vlogs are gonna be more like videos because vlogging is documenting life and videos, what I mean by videos is more like informational videos. I was talking to, to Mimi about how I'd like to be more of a lifestyle and travel video entertainer, if I could put it that way. So welcome back. I'm very happy to be here again. Mimi is very happy as well. She's busy over there. But this won't be a boring season. That I can guarantee. We'll do our best to keep you entertained. Periods are uncomfortable. What the what the fuck is this? Menstrual cycles. Does that help for grumpy girls? Also? No. I don't think so. Hmm. That sucks. What? Focus. Focus. Okay, I just forgot one more thing. Um, yeah, I gotta take this more seriously. I'd appreciate 
if uh, you, you the watcher could go and check out our social media accounts so if you'd like to subscribe you can stay tuned to our Instagram because that's where most of the stuff is going on. The links and all the information are going to be at the end of the video and inside the descriptions. Alright and for the swimwear we've been working on it for the past three months like designing and producing the prototypes but it actually goes back to like 2015 right? Hey Mimi when did we start Damia? 2015? Yeah. So yeah, that was the year after we met. You know, we, we said to ourselves, we wanna do we wanna stay in fashion, we wanna stay in uh, photography and videography and traveling. So Mimi loves swimwear. She loves swimwear. And so we said to ourselves, let's let's make it happen, you know, uh, let's do something. And it took a while, but now we finally made it very positive that somewhere in the universe this this brand is gonna pick up because now, right here, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it, the philosophy and why uh, we created Damia Swimwear. So, first of all, Damia Swimwear is not just a brand and a bikini and a swimwear design and, and all that, you know, yes, it's related to fashion like every clothing brand, but the fact we also created this brand is with a very specific purpose. We want to fight body shaming, we want to fight bullying and stop all sorts of intimidation, you know, like so many people, so many young people get intimidated and bullied in high school and, and that leads them to do some stupid shit, you, you never know and some people suicide, some people go shooting other people, I know this is terrible and you know, part of the brand that we're building is to help people stop this. We want to make a movement, we want to create this movement in order to stop all this stuff. And we're very, very fragile on this topic because, you know, Mimi and I both got bullied in high school and yeah, it sucks, you know, everybody feels some sort of intimidation somewhere. So we know what it feels like and we know we can relate to it. <laughs> That's a good picture of what Damia Swimwear stands for. Uh, you know, we, we made a website and all the social media platforms. There are better descriptions there that you can actually read and, and get more details on. The website's gonna be open next month or so whenever, whenever we have the bulk uh, ready for sale. We're gonna be launching in a, either a month and a half or two. It all depends on how we work in Florida and how we develop the brand there. So yeah, that's Damia Swimwear. If you have questions on Damia Swimwear, you can reach out to both of us. Mimi speaks French, I speak English, we speak Italian, Spanish, and if you know somebody speaks another language, we'll try to find somebody in our friendship circle to translate. We want to be there, we want to help you. So thanks for watching, I appreciate the fact that you made it up to here until the end of the video, and I hope to see you on the next one. For now, take care, and don't forget to subscribe. Tabernacle. Tabernacle. Ah, le tabernacle.